Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you how you can easily add a filter option in the shop page of your WooCommerce based e-commerce website. Well friends, here you can see on the right side a filtering option. This feature will help your potential customers to find their expected products very quickly and easily. If you have a lot of products in the shop page, then it may take the customers much time to find out their expected product. But using the filtering options, they can find the product very easily. So I'm going to show you a step by step how you can add these options in your website. So watch the video till the end and get the job done. And let's get to be started. Here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website and now I'm going to install a plugin. Okay, here you can see plugins and click add new. Here you can see the search box and I'm going to search for filter. And here goes our expected plugin WooCommerce product filter by UBU. And I'm going to install this plugin. Just hit install now button. Okay, now click activate. Well, friends, here you can see the plugin is installed and activated. Okay, friends, at the same time, we see on the bottom a new menu, U product filter, and it has three sub menus. I'm going to click on it product filter here goes the dashboard of this plugin u product filter and here you can see three options add new filter show all filters and settings we don't have any filter so it says you have no filters for now so create i'm going to click here and it shows a pop-up and it says enter your filter name I'm going to name it find products just hit save and it creates a filter for me okay here you can see filter name find product and you can display this filter using short code using PHP code or using product short code a lot of options okay here goes the short code okay just forget about the short code we are going to add filters now let's see the demo website here you can see sort by i can sort by popularity rating newness low to high price okay so let's start with this one sort by so here you can see under filters i have some options just click here on the drop down menu and here you can see sort by just select it and click on the add button to add it and you can see the preview on the right side here it is okay now we have added the first filtering option and here you can see our down arrow key if i click over here it shows up the options it has first of all show title level yes i would like to show it by default it is no but i'm going to click here you have three options no yes show as close i'm going to click here and it just shows the preview live i'm going to select another option show as open here it is but i think show as close is best and do you like to display it on the mobile phone if the visitors come through the mobile screen then okay you can show or you can hide it and the next option, how would you like to display it as a drop down or a list? Here you can see if I click it, it shows the list, but you can display as a drop down. Again, I'm going to click it. Here you can see the drop down. Okay, it's up to you. And you can just disable some options. Here you can see default, popularity, rating. If you don't want to uh, just show rating, just click here and again uh, just come over here. 
you see the rating is gone very fantastic okay so i'm going to click here to close it and again i'm going to take another filtering option product categories okay just click here here you can see product categories just select it and hit add at the same time here you can see the option and you can click here and show the title as close or as open okay and sh show hierarchy call and these options are available in the pro version at the same time i'm going to add some other filtering options just featured okay and on sale select rating click over here stock status and price and you can reorder it say for example i would like to bring the price section after the sort by just hold it drag and drop and if you would like to bring the rating after price just hold it and drag and drop okay here you can see all the options are available and go for price i'm going to click here and here you can see show the title as open here you can see price and some screen options but they are available in the pro version i'm sorry and show price input field okay the user can also input the price here and the show symbol position before or after you will see a lot of setting options okay just self-explanatory just click on this icon and you will see all the options once you are done with this section adding filters let's just save it and go to another options just click over here and here you can see main setting where would you like to display it all e-commerce pages or any specific page i would like to display on the shop page just select shop page and display filter option would you like to display this filtering feature on the desktop or mobile i'm going to show only for desktop and lots of other options i'm going to go to another option button and here you can see filtering button or auto filtering here you can see the users just selected all the options then they can click on filter to filter the product but if you want you can make it auto filter and show clear all button and select filter buttons position on the bottom top or both select filter button order that's all and let's see content just click over here here you can see always filter by all products show clear blocks recount minimum or maximum price by selected filter other options and next go to loader the effect you will see when just the customer hit the filter button and you can enable overlay just choose the color loader icon that's all again hit save and let's see what we have under design just click on design and here you can see the filter width just leave this settings default and just that's all we are done okay friends let's see how we can display this filter over here to display it go to appearance and click on wizards and make sure the shop page has wizards area and here you can see ucomar sidebar this is the wizard area i'm going to remove the previous wizards okay here it is now i'm going to scroll down 
and here goes the widget just click over here and i'm going to choose the display position here it is ukamar sidebar just click over here and click here at widget now you can see the u product filter is added here and i have only one filter just select here find product select it and hit save now i'm going to refresh the store or shop page here it is sort by default units and here goes the preloader you can filter by price and it happens automatically say for example i'm going to buy a shoe that the price range is 100 to 120 dollar okay so i'm going to 100 and 120 and here it is this feature will definitely help your users or customers potential customers to find their product very easily and here you can see on the demo page i have it on the right side but here it shows on the left side okay you can just change the position of the sidebar what you will have to do just you will have to go to the page and make sure the theme you are using has this option but all the standard themes come with these features just here is the shop page i'm going to click edit and here you can see i'm using astra theme and here goes sidebar just click on it click right sidebar and hit update now i'm going to refresh this page okay here it is it's on the right side now i'm going to hit clear clear price okay now the sidebar is on the right side well friends i believe after watching this video you could easily add these filtering options in your ucommerce best ecommerce website if this video helped you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe my youtube channel to get more videos Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in a new video.